Previously, last time this happened. Because of a bully who exploited your beard, your parents abandoned you as a child. That was you. Magic Funhouse will have two Mr. Marbles. Two marbles? Oh, isn't this show just terrible? What's wrong with you? Why are you still watching? Motherfucker! Man, he's so goofy. What a goofy guy. It's Dave and all about to kill each other in front of millions. I am the architect of anarchy, Leslie. Come on, you guys. Only two more episodes. You can make it. Children's television. A vessel that expands the minds of kids while milking the sweet fountain of nostalgia for grown-ups. We all need children's television, and I am the man who brings it. Thank God you're here. Even these beautiful children are starting to piss me off. Hmm. Good morning, boys and girls. Morning. Fucking shitheads. You'd think a refined child predator like myself would love working so close to children, but I'm just a baker in a bakery who can't have cake. 30 seconds, we know. Good morning, can you barely see the bags under your eyes today? Bite me. Give me a time and a place, I'll be there. Break a leg, Cliff. Of course they meant that literally. Just like when I say I'm starving. But fuck it, this network got me a dress in every size. Hi, Arlo. Mrs. Borey, what are you doing out here in Los Angeles? Oh, well, Mr. Cordula flew me out here to help wrangle these little cow pokes for Arlo. I had no fucking clue what was going on, but luckily some gay man came over and diffused the situation. All right, I'm going to need you guys to have a lot more energy this week. Last week's episode was kind of shit. I'm looking at you, buddy. I'll try my best, sir. You will do your best, all right? You're on television, people. Most kids would be lucky to be in your shoes. And we're live in 10. Break a leg. Well, no. nine. It's a hard thing creating Eight. children's television each week. Seven. You start to run out of good morals to teach Six. while fighting the bad ones of your own. This outfit still looks ridiculous on you. Yeah? Well, I didn't come up with a look. Yeah, well, I didn't come up with that beard. It's enough to destroy any look. <laughs> good morning, boys and girls. I don't believe in upstaging my enemies, but when I do, I go full I out. Stop doodly say so myself. We got a magical episode for y'all. Good morning, boys and girls. Why are you doing this to me? Doing what, Mr. Moldy Milk? <laughs> that is not my name. Mr. Holy <laughs> oh, God! You see, kids, sometimes grown-ups don't even know how to cope with jealousy. It's a complex emotion. <laughs> Ouch. Brilliant performance today, Sasha. You're looking as radiant as always. Well, thank you, Cordula. Someone has to put effort in around here. Of course. And you know what? Fuck what those other people are saying. I think you look like the fountain of youth. <laughs> Wait, what are people saying? Oh, nothing. Just that you look a little mature for kids' TV. What? I'm barely 17. You can't let it get to you, dear. Look at me. Would you believe this face is 86 years old? What's your secret? It's a serum that I make myself infused with ash and soot to make the skin appear tight and relentless. Give me some of that. Who's been saying this about me? Arlo, probably just jealous. But just between us girls, we know who the real star of the show is, don't we? Thank you, kids, you're, you're way too kind. Oh, man, dude, can you believe that crowd? I have to sign one more autograph. I'm gonna kill myself. I'd like to remind you whose dressing room you're in right now. Mine. Well, this is our dressing room, equal cause, contract, and power. For the record, Dave, I'm not jealous of you. You just look like a homeless man who decided to try drag for the first time. You uh, seem a little threatened, feeling a little upstaged by a felon. Please, we both know who the real star is, Dave. Yeah? And he's looking at a falling one. Hey, hey, buddy, I'm not the real problem here. When you chose to upstage me on a golden fucking unicycle, yeah, you became the problem real big. Ah! <laughs> this is all your fault, Arlo. 
If you didn't humiliate me at school, my parents would have kept me and I wouldn't have become the recovering psychopath that you sent to prison! Fuck you! You created your own enemy, Arlo, and he's gonna destroy you. What's up, Cliff? Are you trying to intimidate me? Are you trying to intimidate anyone with this cute little police officer costume and this little toy gun? <laughs> Oh, God, another talk. Arlo, I'm not sure I'm comfortable anymore with the way that this show is going. Really? After all the shit we've gone through in this season and the last one, and this is where you draw the line? I draw the line at dignity, and this show has none left. What? Arlo, there's someone here to see you? Thank you for this experience, Mr. Marvel. I am still your biggest fan. Do you see what you're trying to walk out on? Look at him. Look into these sad, wandering eyes, Cliff. These children need us. Do you still have that waiver? We need you to sign this. Well, it's been an exciting day, hasn't it? Oh, I live every day like it's my last, because it really might be. That's great. Take care, Mrs. Bory. Thank you so much for what? all of your I help. Know, wait, I have no place to stay. Thank you, you too. No Who is that? Motherfucker! Just some crazed fan who snuck into the building. Aren't you supposed to be our security now? Was that Mrs. Bory? She is not staying with me. Cordula said Mrs. Bory must live with you till the studio can find an apartment of her own. Are you crazy? She's the kind of person who thinks that Fig Newtons are a treat. Let me back in, you confused twink. I will help you, but she cannot live in my house. Why? Because I don't have one. You guys been talking shit behind my back? Bitch, slow down and restart. Arlo's been telling everyone I'm too old for kids' TV. He hasn't said that. Not that he has to. Where is that ass hat? We can still be friends, Arlo. I just won't be here anymore. <laughs> You're going to walk out that door after everything we've gone through. With dignity. We've done everything together, Cliff. We went to the movies one time. You've been with me, Arlo, through the ups and downs. All of... right, let's do this. You want to talk shit behind my back? Say it to my face. Sasha, what the fuck are you talking do about? Do you think I'm too old for children's TV? Can an old person do this? Yeah, if they're in good health. Yeah, you could probably do that, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sasha, I never said any of that. Oh, bullshit. Let's get everything out on the table right now. I'll go first. I think you need an orthodontist, and your posture looks like you live in a teapot. Big words coming from a homeless woman. Ex-homeless woman, ass hat. Oh, God damn it! I think it's obvious what's happening here. We're no longer a children's television show. They've turned us into reality TV, and they're pushing us until we break. Oh, that's right, Cliff's leaving us. What, now? I'm finally respected among the adult film industry. I didn't think I'd find more dignity amongst porn than children's television, but... <sighs> the cookie has crumbled. Well, if you're heartless enough to walk out that door while the rest of us are having our cavities corralled by Cordula, then walk out of my dressing room and never come back! You don't have to tell me twice, Arlo. Goodbye, and good luck. Having a little trouble in paradise, buddy? Why couldn't it have been you that left? Cliff was twice the man you could ever aspire to be. You know, I can't wait to drive you insane. You're actually starting to kind of lose it, buddy. Which is great, because ratings have never been higher since... Huh. I joined the show. No, that's not untrue. Thank you for letting me stay at your house tonight. I don't like sleeping on Arlo's floor when he's this angry. I would give anything for that privilege. God damn it! I need a place to stay tonight, and I'm hitching a bitch with you folks. Oh, she smells like death. Well, this baby should do. I thought your house would smell more like cum. Well, I just moved in, plus this isn't my house. I live across the street from the elementary school on 5th. I thought you weren't allowed to live within 100 feet of a school. It's on the 10th floor. They didn't say anything about 100 feet vertically. I don't relate to kids at all. You know, it's been like, I don't know, 150 years since I was one. Do you remember your childhood? Boy, I don't even remember what I had for lunch. I'm gonna get rid of this, so I'll take this cruise. Clifford! Shit. Look, if 
you came to Listen, change I my came mind. Listen, I came to change your mind. Fuck. Sasha, I've got good things going for me outside of this. I think I've been on this wild ride too long, and I want to get off. I'm sure you do. I feel like nobody around here believes that they can stand up for themselves. Well, I'm gonna prove that you can. Well, no one could replace you as Officer McSafety. I wish it didn't end this way. Well, you can thank her. Fucking Nazi <laughs> bitch! <laughs> into this. No, you Jezebel! Look! Oh my god. What's the dilemma? This bag of dicks ain't turning over. Well, let me give it a shot. Ah! Bitch, I'm a gunshot victim! Why would you have such a thing? Well, this thing contains a bullet that has waited to take its victim for 70 years. But I think it might really help your car. Uh, who is that bullet for? Oh, oh, I used to tell Arlo this story every night while he was sleeping all those years in a coma. It was during the Second World War. Some people referred to it as World War II. Anyway, those motherfucking Germans. I was a U.S. spy who got enemy intel out of young children by running a Nazi orphanage. Of course, I was the young Bella the Ball back then. All right, children, let's say grace. Nazis are good, Americans are rude, Jews are even worse. Now let's eat some food. Wunderbar. I was married to another spy, a handsome man named Erwin. Oh, he was my everything. And with Hitler at the height of his douchebaggery, America was desperate to find him. Ingrid, how do you like your food? It's good, but maybe I'm starting to feel a little sleepy. Now, Ingrid, if you fall asleep, the other kids might eat your leftovers. Do not touch that, you little orphan bastard. That's not for you. Put it down. Put it back. What the hell did you give her? Dinner's ready. Horse tranquilizer. Ingrid was the daughter of the Third Reich's most feared general, one who was believed to know Hitler's whereabouts. We needed to extract the info from her. She just needed a little push. Now, Ingrid, you could make Frau Julia very happy if you just tell us where Daddy's hiding Hitler. See what you've done? Turns out the little bitch had one up on us. She'd been sent to take us out. I know who you are, Mrs. Bory. Holy shit! Oh! She disappeared like a goddamn ninja. That's quite a story, Mrs. Bory. Did you ever figure out? What happened to that girl? Oh, I kept tabs on that little bitch. But then the 50s came around, I got really deep in the tranquilizers, so I kind of lost track. What are you going to do when you find her? Oh, I'm going to place her own bullet right between her eyes. Is that the one that killed your husband? Yeah. They had to crack open his goddamn skull to get it out. But it'll be worth it if I find this little girl. Well, she's going to be in her 80s, you know. Oh, they said the same thing about me during the war, but I'm still kicking ass. Wait. Weren't you going to use that bullet to shoot the car? Oops. <gasps> Looks like something's wrong. We need to get back to the studio. Is she going to be OK? She's good. Let's go. I haven't said a joke yet. As I was saying, I work with your son, Dave, on a TV show called Magic Fun House. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, I'm assuming you've heard of it. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah, we love that show, Omaha High. Yeah. It's a lot funny of Omaha High. <laughs> How long has it been since you've spoken with your son? Who? Oh. Dave. He hasn't had an easy life since the two of you ran out on him, and I think it would mean a lot to him and to myself if the three of you could reconnect. <laughs> Dave doesn't miss us. 
every child misses their parents no matter how old they are. Then how come he left us? Because you abandoned him! Sorry, I never scream. Well, what will we say to him? Yeah, what the hell will we say to him? We got nothing to say to him. Sorry would be a good start. I mean, do you even know what your son wanted to be when he grew up? Fireman? Fireman. He wanted to be on television. And now he is. The most watched children's show in the entire nation. Oh, he's the one with the beard. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Dave really is better off without you two shit bags in his life. Oh, that's oh, not right. Oh, no, oh, he's. Come on. Don't go away, man. You know, I used to think I was the one who created the monster we call Dave, but now I see he was among monsters from the fucking start. Oh, by the way, his pension plan did cover parental care, but now it'll be going to booze and hookers, so. Fuck you both. That dude's an asshole. I agree. I told you. They don't want anything to do with me. Those people weren't your parents, Dave. Those were two losers who fucked each other and didn't know what to do with the child they had. Thank you, No, Marco. no, no, do not! We are not friends and this does not change anything. Do you understand? No, dude. But, as someone who's been searching for his parents his whole life, I can confidently tell you, those people, they don't deserve to be in yours. Oh God, I just got a text from Cliff. It sounds serious. How do you know? It's in all caps. Oh God. Yeah, let's go. Yeah. Thanks for driving, by the way. Eh, no problem. You're getting pretty good at it. Thanks, I know. Okay, you go first. Okay. <laughs> oh, wow, it's really dark in here. Uh, what's that smell? It smells like my grandmother. No, should we be in here? I don't know. I can't see anything, though. Uh, stop touching me. You're touching me. I'm not. Oh, please. Oh. I've seen you eyeing my boyish figure. I've got a light. Oh, okay. Ah! Oh, 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 We've got to stay calm. If we don't, we'll run out of air, okay? I think we should breathe each other's oxygen until help arrives. Of course. Okay. Oh, God, get off me! Oh, hey, a light switch. What the fuck is this place? And who is this? Sasha, look at this. The Mary Michael Milstead Show. Hmm. My eyebrows are better. Oh, whoa. Sasha, come here. The name you know me as is Mary Michael Milstead. I'm the highest rated television host at hip.tv. I fear this is my only way out. I've discovered too much about my employer. She's hiding the current whereabouts of Adolf Hitler himself and has laundered her spy money to create this TV network. She has threatened to expose my identity to my wife and children who won't accept me for the queen I've become. Please forgive me. I hope one day my soul finds peace when Cordula is served justice. We're gonna be the next ones hanging from a glittery noose if we don't do something soon. Cliff! Sasha! Cliff! Sasha! You guys got that text too? From Cliff? Yeah, do you know where they are? Yeah, I think I have an idea. Hey Cliff, Sasha, are you in there? Yeah. Oh my god. Please. Cliff! Cliff! Please. We're right here! Cliff! It's locked! Put it down! I take the yeah, I'm gonna pull Jimmy and grab my waist. Please. Please. I don't like it! Please. I have the key. You've had the key this entire time? Indeed. See, this is where communication would be helpful, Manny. We gotta work on this, alright? I call the dress. I call the weed. Oh, I don't want the underwear. Ah, rehearsing a bit about a gay corpse, I see. A little sick, but a good Halloween idea. Listen, I got bad news for you. What, the Cordula's a Nazi bitch trying to drive us all to suicide? Yeah, you're a little late. The jig is up. Oh, you said her name. Cordula, my little artichoke of anarchy. Listen, I've been in this business a long time, but at heart, I can't deny who I truly am. Not very stylish. An asshole. Shithead. Nope. <laughs> a family man. Cordula's running this shit show way better than I ever could. So I'm thinking, 
what if I could get all the benefits of running a TV show without actually having to go to work? So Cordula's taking full control of the future of Magic Funhouse. What? what? Hey, you know how hard it is for someone as loaded as me to find a sugar mama? I'm moving into her place in Beverly Hills, enjoying fine dining and six. So as of now, I'm officially no longer getting paid to listen to y'all gripe. I'm out. <laughs> See you at the wedding. Did he just say wedding? Oh, God, he said wedding. We've got to stop him. Save him? Something. No, no, that's it. I am tired of this sauerkraut cunt taking everything from me. Us. For, from us. There's only one solution to this, and I think it's obvious. What, quit the show like I've been saying the entire time? I've read the contract, and it doesn't seem possible for any of us to quit. I'd like to see them try and stop me. No, no, Cliff, we are in this together. At least try and help us get out of this. Get out how? Face it, Arlo, we're completely clipped. Mm-mm. Guys, the solution is obvious. We have to kill Cordula. <gasps> murder? You're trying to justify murdering someone? Oh, well, you didn't have a problem with it when you slaughtered my pen pals. They washed my brain. Sasha, you thought those farmer fuckbags were bad news. This bitch is far more capable than all of them combined. She is more powerful, more wealthy, and more clever than all of us put together. And she will stop at nothing to destroy us for good ratings. It's either us or her. Fine, I get it. But I can't kill another person, Arlo. Not again. Oh, you don't have to kill anyone. Guys, I think we're forgetting we have a secret weapon. When do we get started? Now let's see what happens next time. Leslie, I'm tired of planning this shit. Let's move the wedding up to tomorrow. Mr. Cronus, your fiance is a Nazi. Who's a Nazi? <laughs> I did not see that gun. How did Hitler salute again? Was it like this? I pray to God he will do the right thing and murder that Nazi cunt. Hmm, that's a bad word. Hey! Hey! Hey, I'm in here! God damn it, let me out! You dick-licking motherfucking asswipes! You pieces of shit! Let me out of here! I gotta get out of here right now, you motherfuckers! I'm gonna get every one of you dirty bastards! You brain-damaged, in brain over medicated morons! You pieces of shit! Wait till I get hold of you! I'm gonna rip your fucking scrotum off and stretch it over your head! Thank you.